السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم وبعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن الناس من يشتري له الحديث ليضل عن سبيل الله بغير علم ويتخذها هزوا أولئك لهم عذاب مهين صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله absolutely blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is absolutely mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that today in this critical time in this critical time that we are unable to meet with our own brothers, own sisters, with our parents, those who are living in different house. It is unable to meet with our neighbor who is living next door in this critical time. We are trying our best to be connected with the masjid with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, it is absolutely mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and somehow we're trying to get reminder, we're trying to be connected with Allah with the masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue allow us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue guide us, allow us to stay on the right path. Ameen, summa ameen. Begin, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and send salawat Salutation upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all the Anbiya alayhi salatu wa sallam. And we ask Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to listen some advice sincerely, which is beneficial for us, for our family, for our children, and to live in this world successfully and peacefully. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be success in this dunya akhirah. Amin. So today, I want to remind all of you regarding a very special, uh, very important matter, very important matter. Before I start, I want to remind you that few years back, let's say 20, 30 years ago, even the one I was five, six, 10 years old, 20 years ago, I remember we used to play outside. Sometimes when we are in the school or madrasa, we used to play after class or before class or break time. And, and especially evening time, when we come back from the madrasa or school, uh, between Asr till uh, Maghrib time, sometimes we used to play. Sometimes we used to play with our neighbors or brothers, football, soccer, badminton, and many physical, you know, sport, game. And the way we actually get exercise and sometimes have some fun entertainment and we talk with people and we, we do so many activities. And as time pass, today, not only America, American people, we are, but all over the world, most of place, most of our children, and even not only children, youth and adult as well, we are so much attractive. We are we are so much attracted toward electronic devices, 
um, especially for young and for children, our children who are more attracted toward electronic video game and and more uh, especially actually this critical time when they have no mosque, no school, and they are not allowed to go outside, meaning they are unable to play with other children. And, and even though it is normal time, still our children have electronic video games, devices, and Nowadays, we have not one or two games. There are so many games, so many video games that our children, they pass their time. And I think it is very important to remind all of you again and again that as this electronic device and video games we have in our homes, less or more we have in our homes and we provide, Many of parents may not know what is exactly in these electronic video games. There are a lot of video games who are good. A lot of them, they are, to me, is terrible. A lot of them, they are good. They are painting, learning to create things, building house and um, putting word together, learning vocabulary, sentence, and, and so many things they are learning sometimes. And some game which are most popular game and mostly kids they love to play which is violent game fighting game buying gun selling gun and 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 killing people there are game which is very interested to children unfortunately nowadays that if you you kill more you get more reward more more point you kill regular person, you will get less point, but if you kill police or some higher people, you will get more, more point. And there are games that you will fly and land in a place where 50 or 200 people living, and you get more point if you kill more people in a short time, as much as early. So the violent game that has fighting, cheating, lying, and 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 so many things sometimes if you pay if you pay people right you know if someone die your player die if you pay them he will get life he will get life back he will be alive back and so many things especially the violent game to me not only to me not a lot of scholars even they they study about it and they are suggesting not to play even to me, I will not give my children to play any of violent game. Not only that, I will try my, try my best to talk with my children how, how bad to play the violent game, what we are learning. Sometimes when we talk with our children, with children, students, that violent game is not good for you. Violent game fighting, killing is not good for you. And, you know, they give answer, well, it is not real fighting. It is just fun. It is, it is not real fighting. We are not fighting real. We are not killing. This is all everything virtual, everything fake. Well, the scholars, they explain that when a children played violent game, video game that has fighting, killing, there can be few options. First of all, they are learning all things. They kill thousand people in an hour. They feel proud. They feel more. They kill more people. They feel more proud because they are getting more reward. But they, first of all, they are learning. And slowly, slowly, what they are learning. If you say they are not learning, this is only game. This is only fun, entertainment. They are not learning anything. Then I will say hadith on ayah. Surah Al-Allah One of the characteristics of believer that they stay away from the logo thing, unnecessary thing, which does not give them any benefit. When a children, 
they play lot and lot, they become addicted to play. Even if you, if you search on online YouTube, you will find so many children's story behind that they are addicted. Now parents try to uh, tell him and try to take away the devices, but they become crazy. I, I watch a news, uh, American news, actually 12 years old boy, he becomes so much addicted to play the violent game. He's talking with other team using bad word, killing people, shouting, does not sleep entire night, late to go to school, do not do homework, and parents trying to take away the device, and he becomes crazy. He, he starts breaking the door, breaking the window, the news shows. The news shows that 12 years old boy, when he did not get internet devices to play the game while he's addicted he break the door he break he break the wall and he is ready to do anything and anything anything and everything because he's addicted now first of all they are learning whatever whatever they are playing and seeing and second thing that they it is going to become uh, it, it is uh, they are they are going to be addicted and those students who are addicted to play, they do not do homework. They do not want to attend the class. Even though while they're in the class, they're trying to play a video game. Believe me. I am witness. And many of you, maybe you know, if you start online, there are so many incidents. So many incidents. Those who are addicted. Even though not only children, the news says that an old adult, almost 50 years old, he, he go to work, come back directly. He goes to the basement and play the game entire time. He did not give time to his spouse, his, his wife, and then divorce. Addicted. So Islam says, well, Something that does not give you any benefit. Right? Then don't do it. Hadith says, Inna min husne islam il mar'e tarkuhu ma la ya'ni that one of the excellence characteristic of a believer that they leaves what does not give them any benefit or does not give them any concern. If video game, children are not learning anything, then still they have to leave it, the violent video game. They, they are spending... Uh, five, six hours in a day. I know one Muslim family. Fathers was crying that my children do not get sleep until two, three o'clock. I try my best to bring, you know, take him outside, shopping, marketing, buying things for him. He is not interested to go outside with us because he has devised, he loves to play this violent game, fighting game. He, 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 he become addicted and they are worried about his life because he is not studying, not doing homework, not going anywhere, not talking with anybody, just talking virtually with his team that he play. Quranic act very clear. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضُلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمِ وَيَتَّخِذَهَا هُزُوَا It is in Surah Al-Luqman, the first page, Allah says, you can read it. Allah says that those who buy such a things, lahu al-hadith, things that make people stay away from remembrance of Allah, azab is ready for them. If you buy such a things which make you remember, stay away from remembrance of Allah, which prevent you to remember Allah, which does not, in, uh, 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 does not encourage you to remember Allah, that whole hadith. This is, this is not a good thing for us, for believers. It, it, it stop us. It disturb us to remember Allah. Allah says, وَلَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُّهِينٌ I prepare adab for them. Look at Surah Al-Luqman, the first page mentioned clearly. Not only that, Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُحِبُّونَ أَن تَشِيعَ الْفَاحِشَةُ فِي الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ For those who like 
who like that immorality is spread amongst those who believe those people who are spreading immorality amongst the believers painful punishment in this dunya and akhirah ready for them so we as a believer we we need to think about it we need to think about it one thing is religiously and other things in general talk when people is to our children they are addicted to spend 5 6 8 10 hours in a day to play not good game even violent game violent game fighting game they they will not have focus to study they cannot concentration to do their homework to attend in the class listen to teacher learn and teach they cannot do that they cannot do that one thing is addicted on social media this one side other things addicted for ch- children addicted to play viol- violent game this is very bad i do not recommend to anyone even lot of scholars they says no it is not permissible to play the violent game even though if you are saying they are not learning but they are learning if you look at the new zealand that happened last year the crisis in the masjid someone attacked in the masjid he put a camera here exactly he killed 50 plus muslims in the masjid like video games play game you see today when children get angry when you do not listen your children own to they get angry sometimes they just do boo, boo, boo. they're learning last year one of children he said ustaz one day i was sitting in the car and my mom my dad and my brothers they went outside they, they left the car and they are calling my mom is calling me to come out from the car and i cannot i was looking outside and see some alien in front of me something moving in front of me when they call me then i realize oh i have to go i have to leave the car i have to get out from the car then i ask him did you did you play a video game while you were sitting in the car he says yes i was playing to for long long for uh, quite long time the car in the car the games so i said okay then you are, what you are playing you was playing and playing and you you thought maybe something in real life the play virtually it it no and they sometimes fail in their real life on they are smart on playing video game that they are very active very smart they are top they have top team everyone listening him and he can destroy a lot of place a lot of house and in real life when ch- when children ask us as a parent something and we do not listen to our own children they get so angry they break walls they break doors they break things why because in virtual game they are very active very smart they they they, they, they can do a lot of things they can destroy a lot of things but in real life when parents mom and dad do not listen to them they get angry they get quickly so angry today you can survey children those who are addicted to play with violent video game you can ask you can watch them few hours few days and intentionally you don't listen them for one two times you see how much they get angry this now i'm saying from my side i read from articles that they get quickly angry they can break tv they can break walls that's why we need to take this message seriously yes they can play the game which is good learning painting decorating or building house something that which is not which is not uh, 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 haram or something impermissible which is permissible they can play sometimes not many hours right they they have to have some fun some entertainment 
they have to pass their time we understand but the thing is the game that has problem fighting violent i will not recommend to anyone to allow your children to play it even some scholars they is strictly they says no no it is not permissible even that's why please find out that will you buy devices for your children what they do it is not that one day you can take take away from them the devices you need to talk talk to them and easy answer that i heard from many children they says this is virtual this is not real life killing fighting this is not real life fighting but answer if it is not real life fighting believe me they are learning but also they are wasting their time they become addicted slowly eventually they will become addicted may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand the beauty of islam the beauty of islam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to practice the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to stay away from ourselves stay away from all kind of harmful things or kind of useless unnecessary things may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us protect us from all the logo thing jazakumullahu khairan amin summa amin jazakumullahu khairan assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh